Now I'm going to go over how you can set up a Zoom call and play Jackbox uh, TV with a bunch of friends um, through Zoom if you want to. Um, Zoom is kind of the best way to do this because Zoom allows you to share your screen and your desktop audio at the same time so people will be able to hear and s see the game. Um, Skype will allow you to share your screen but it doesn't really share audio so just keep that in mind. The first thing you need to do is go ahead and download Jackbox TV um, onto your computer um, whether that's through Steam or the Epic Game Store, which is what I've done it through, um, or there are a few other places, and I'll put links in the description below of where you can go and actually download it. Um, if you have a iPad, and let's say you already own Jackbox TV on Apple TV, you can actually re-download um, the Jackbox Party Pack on your iPad through the same Apple account onto your iPad and you can use Zoom and share your screen um, that way if you want to. Um, also, if you own it on your iPhone, um, you can do it the same way. If you have Android, there isn't an Android app for Jackbox, so you can't really get it on there anyways. So do it on a computer then. Um, the computer is definitely out of you know any iPad or anything like that, the computer is usually the easiest thing to do it on. So now I'm going to go and show you how to do it. So once you've got that downloaded, you can follow these steps. So you want to go ahead and I would first open up Jackbox TV before we open up Zoom. That way we get it all set up and ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it and open it up. And you'll see once it's opened, it's kind of locked me into full screen here. So once it loads, we're going to jump into the settings and change that. So here we go. You can see it's loaded. I'm going to go ahead and click on start down here in the bottom left. Once I do that, you'll see your options load over here. I'm going to click on settings. And you'll see full screen mode is on. I'm going to turn that off. That way we have access to um, everything else on our computer. The other thing you want to change here is also the volume control. You can see it's all the way up. So turn that down maybe a little um, towards halfway or something like that. If you don't turn this down, once you once people connect to the Zoom call, Jackbox TV is going to be blasting on their speakers pretty loud. Um, even if you change your computer volume, it's not going to affect them that much if you haven't changed the settings for volume within Jackbox itself. So make sure you go ahead and change those. And if it's still too loud or too quiet for people, you can jump back into these settings and change the volume controls when you're not playing a game. So do keep that in mind. Changing the volume on your actual computer won't actually help um, the people um, on the Zoom call with you. So make sure you turn off full screen mode and you go ahead and lower the volume. Now that you've adjusted the volume for everyone else in the game settings here for Jackbox, it might be too quiet um, for you on your laptop for you to hear the game. This is where you can go and adjust your computer volume, especially if you're on a Mac just slightly up and slightly down. If you're on Windows, you can actually get a little bit more control over how much volume a program or how high the volume is for kind of each program that you have open. So we can go and adjust that ever so slightly for Jackbox TV in our volume settings. And to get there, we just go down to our taskbar and we right click on the volume button, the speaker button, and click on open volume mixer and from here you can see all the programs I have open and what's muted and what's not right now I have everything muted but you can see I've got Jackbox Party Pack 3 and I can adjust that up or down or mute it individually if I want to to where I can hear it the best now this isn't going to affect everyone else on the Zoom call too much. Again, to adjust the volume for them, you want to do it in the game settings for Jackbox, which is right here. 
But if you, if, but if it ends up being too quiet for you or too loud, you want to go in here and adjust it a little bit up and a little bit down. If you adjust it way up, um, everyone else on the Zoom call, Zoom call will notice a difference in the, and will notice the volume going up. Or if you put it too low, they will notice a difference. So just a little up so you can hear it and so that they can hear it too. And it's all at a comfortable level for everyone. This is the most complicated part of this setup, but everything else goes pretty much smoothly, um, pretty smoothly. So you're gonna just gonna have to adjust these two different volume settings, um, the settings in the game and your computer volume, or if you're on Windows, the actual Jackbox volume, just to kind of um, make sure it's a good volume level for everyone and it's usable. Um, but again, this is the most complicated part but everything after this is pretty smooth. So now that we're done with that, we're gonna click escape here or close. And now you can see we're good to go and we can start playing a game if we want to. So I'm gonna go ahead and just minimize this for now. So it's out of the way, it's still open. But now we're gonna go ahead and open Zoom And you want to go ahead and um, make a meeting or someone else is um, made the meeting you want to go ahead and join it so i'm going to click new meeting Just pop up there we go and now that we're in here you can see it's just me in the meeting but that's okay i'm going to go ahead and click on share screen down at the bottom now, if you're someone who's hosting the meeting and somebody else has Jackbox TV on their computer and they want to share with you, um, you're going to want to go ahead and click the arrow next to share screen and go to advanced sharing options and make sure that who can share, you have all participants or else they're not going to be able to share their screen. So if you're the host and someone else is trying to share Jackbox TV, make sure you've turned this on. But if you are trying to share it, you can go ahead and click share screen. And once you do that, you can see you get a bunch of different options here, right? I can either share my entire desktop, but that means everyone can see everything on my desktop, not just Jackbox TV, or I can select Jackbox Party Pack 3 down here and now all they will see is just that one program that's open just jackbox tv they won't see anything else on my computer even if i close out a jackbox or something like that they won't see anything else they'll just see jackbox the other thing you want to make sure you do is click share computer sound that way it'll allow them to hear the sound coming from the jackbox tv program if you don't click that they're not going to be able to hear it so then you go ahead, once you have Jackbox TV selected and share computer audio selected, you will click on share. And there you go. You can see it opened up Jackbox TV and it's sharing. It even has this green box. Your box might be a little different, but we can now see what it is sharing. Now, if we had other people on this call, they would show up here in kind of a list so we could still see their video, even though we're sharing our screen here. So then we can go ahead and click on whatever we want and start the game. So it's pretty easy to share um, Jackbox TV and play over Zoom with friends if you want to. Now if you want to stop um, screen sharing, you can do that by just going to the top and clicking stop um, share. And it'll go ahead and it'll stop sharing your desktop and you're just back into normal Zoom here. And then you can close out of Jackbox TV if you want to. So that's how you can go and easily share and play Jackbox TV with friends over Zoom. Again, make sure you go into the Jackbox settings, get out of full screen mode, and turn that volume down. That way it doesn't blast over everyone's speakers. Hopefully that helps.